Hello there, everybody. I'm Richard Osmond. Welcome back to this week's House of Games. I have four contestants battling it out to win this trophy over here. Listen, don't get too excited, but someone on today's show has got the best jumper we've ever seen <laughs> on House of Games. I'm not kidding you. As I introduce them, see if you can spot who it is. <laughs> this week's players are Jay Blades. How are you doing? Rachel Paris. Sean Keaveney. And Jan Ravens. Welcome back, everybody. Jay, we will start with you. OK. That's a great jumper. Yeah. It has to be. And um, where's that? Where's the, where, where do you even buy well, that? Well, no, my daughter bought this for me, um, and it's my lucky jumper, because I didn't do very well yesterday. You didn't do great. No, I didn't. Listen, you came a solid fourth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your daughter's name? Paris. Great work, Paris. Very, very well played. <laughs> Rachel, star of the MASH report. Very lovely to have you here. So did nice you, to be here. Did you enjoy yourself yesterday? It was competitive, wasn't it? I really enjoyed it, and I did feel more competitive than I thought I would. I told you. Against Sean. Yeah. You were winning right up yeah. to the, uh, the final round, weren't you? Yeah, and then it's he impressive beat me. Stuff. He did. And I'm furious. She no, does look furious, isn't she? <laughs> You're very bad at hiding your furious emotions. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, welcome back. Hello. Now, a win yesterday. Yeah. That was unexpected. That was nice, wasn't it? Uh, nice. What are we going to do to keep that up? The problem I've got is, is that sometimes I can start well yes. and then taper off very quickly. I, get, I become immediately complacent and then lose it. Right. So that's what I'm worried about. Oh, we're looking forward to that. And also, you've got Rachel's Fury and Jay's yeah. jumper to contend yes. uh, today. <laughs> Jan, now, we saw yesterday that Sean walked off with that lovely House of Games fondue set. I know. Shall we take a look at what the prizes are for today's show? Yes, please, Can you Richard. tell me which one of these yes. you would take if you were to win today? <laughs> oh, the uh, We have got... Well, I mean, there's the cushion, should you want it? There's a lovely House of Games apron, gardening gloves. There's a scented candle. I say scented. And there is... <laughs> If you want to know what the good prize is today, it's that decanter. It's quite nice. Right, Lovely good. cut glass decanter. It's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah, that does look what good. do you think, Jan? Uh, I, I, actually, I'm, I'm going to plump for the decanter. Honestly, you would not regret that. Anyway, listen, Jay's going to win because of the jumper. Yes, we all correctly. know that. Obviously. Let's take a look at the leaderboard from yesterday's show. Jay, you have one. Yeah. Jan, you have two. Rachel, three. Sean, four. But that is all going to change today. Shall we play round one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yes. Every time I press this buzzer, a new game comes up. We never know what it's going to be. Today, it is going to be... A blast from the past tense. Essentially, we're going to ask you some questions. Right. You're buzzing, but you've got to give me the answer in the past tense. So, for example, if the question was, who's the drummer in the Beatles, you wouldn't say Ringo Starr, you'd say Ringo Starred. Oh. OK. Oh. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Here we go. Question one. Which veteran UK politician succeeded Tim Farron as the leader of the Liberal Democrats in 2017? That is Rachel. Vince Cabled. Is it Vince Cabled? It is. Vince Cable becomes Vince okay. Cable. Well done. Yes. Here's your next one. What's the past tense of this answer, please? Neve Campbell and Courtney Cox starred in which 1996 horror film? Yes, Rachel. Screamed. Screamed is the right answer. Rachel, I'm on fire. So it turns out we saw yesterday you were amazing at broken karaoke, and now you're amazing at putting everyday words into the past. I like to mix it up, Richard. I like to mix it up. <laughs> oh, nice. yeah. yeah. Here's your next question. What is this song, please? Oh, hello. Wow. Yes, Sean. Creeped. Is it creeped? Oh, crypt, yeah. Crypt. Yeah, we'll give you that. Oh. I mean, it could be either or either, couldn't it? <laughs> Here's your next question. What is the past tense of this, please? Captain John Yasarian is the main character in which 1961 Joseph Heller novel? <laughs> yes, Sean. Oh. Court 22. Very good. Oh, Court 22 oh. from Catch 22. Well done. Oh, really good. Right. Here's your next question. Who is this? Yes, Sean. Britney Speard. Britney Speard. He's on fire. I think this is actually a good round. I think I'm enjoying it. It's very good. Well done. Here is your next question. Elvish is an invented language used in which three-part fantasy tale first published in 1954? Yes, Jan. Lord of the Rings. It's Lord of the Rang, but we will accept Rind. Here is your next question. 
Fagan and the Artful Dodger are characters in which Dickens novel? Yes, Rachel. Oliver Twisted. Oliver Twisted. Well played. Oliver Twisted becomes Oliver Twisted. Last question in this round. The 1876 Battle of the Little Bighorn is usually known by what three word name? <sighs> yes, Jan. Custer's Last Stood. <laughs> is it Custer's Last Stood? That's it good. Is Custer's <laughs> Last Stood. Well played, Jan. Very nicely done. Uh, let's take a look at the scores at the end of round one. Very early in the show, Sean won yesterday. How are we looking so far today? Jay, yet to get off the mark. Jan has two. We have joint leaders, Rachel and Sean, with three points each. Well done. Fury. Very nicely done. Now, round two is a pairs game, as always. Let's see what pairs game we're playing today, though. It is... <laughs> Dim Sums. Now, whoever's in last place gets to choose a partner. Jay, it will not shock you to learn that it's you today. Yeah. Would you like to choose a partner? You were brilliant with Rachel yesterday, but you might want to ring the changes, you might want to move seats, I don't know. No, I kind of do the same thing, so I'm going to yeah, stick with stick Rachel. With Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. think that was wise. You were a superb partnership. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how, <laughs> but you were a superb partnership last time. <laughs> yeah. Rachel and Jay are together, Sean yeah. and Jan are together. Now, Jay and Rachel, first thing I need you to do is pick a category. One of these four, please. Would you like 1980s oh films, wow. China, sayings, or US politics? 1980s films or sayings or politics? Ditto, I'd go for one of them. Yeah, let's do 80s, 80s films. 80s, 80s films. films, yes. Please. 80s films you're going for. OK, now, what I need you to do here is complete a sum. And your sum is this. Something, take away something else, equals six, OK? You've got to fill in that sum, and you're going to fill it in from the four clues I'm about to show you. And your four clues are... The number of Police Academy films that were released during the 1980s. The number that Nigel Tufnell's amp famously goes up to in the film This Is Spinal Tap. The number of students who spend a Saturday in detention together in The Breakfast Club. And the number of kids who are shrunk in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Two of those, if you put them in that sum, will make six. Oh, I see. OK. Well, I know the second one is 11, isn't it? So it could be 11 minus 5. How many students were in detention? Was that five? Hang on, Molly Ring, what are she? I'm the guy in the six. leather jacket, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the leather jacket. <laughs> I'm thinking six was in both. Yeah, I feel like it's more than... I think it's more than five. I think it was six. I think Police Academy, well, number two and... Minus number one. Yeah. I'm happy to go with that. Yeah. So, the highest number on Nigel Tufnell's amp... You knew that one, it was 11, so we need this to be five, five. for you to win yourself a point. What is the number of Police Academy films in the 80s? Oh, oh it's six. Man. It is six. What did you need to put there instead of that? It was Students oh, in the so Bridge. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, so you close. Right. Funny, I think you, you was right. I think you could name five of them, and then you think of, we must have forgotten one. Yeah. But it turns out you didn't. Sean and Jan, category from you, please. Oh, oh, oh. We think we know, don't we? I think we should do it. <laughs> you think yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. What do you think you know? Well, we, th we think we know what, what category what we want. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> what are the categories we're going to go for sayings. You're going to go for sayings? Yeah. Something plus something okay. else equals 20, OK? That's okay. what you're looking okay. for here. <laughs> what a stitch in time saves. The number of swallows that do not make a summer. What a tipsy person is said to be won over, and what time it will be fine by if there's rain before seven. Okay, so it's it's rain the last seven, one. Fine by Two of those added together will give you eleven 20. and nine. So it's Sitching tipsy time. time plus time it will be fine by. Yes. So the first one by the last one. So you're going first one plus the last <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look. How many stitches in time are there? Stitch in time saves nine. Mm. Very well done. You need this to be 11 to get yourself a point. Is that right? Oh. It is. Very well done. Very simply <laughs> dispatched. Let's take a look at the others. It's one swallow that does not make a summer and one over the eight. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at what that has done to the scores. Not a huge amount. Not a lot. Jay, consistent. I am. Solid. Very. No points yet. Three points to Rachel and Jan. And Sean is our leader now with four points. Well done, Sean. <laughs> so, our winner yesterday is our leader today, Sean Keaveney. But we have three rounds to go. 
Our next round is going to be... Z to A. What's going to happen now? You're going to see three clues at a time and they will reveal themselves letter by letter from Z to A. As soon as you can work out what those clues are, tell us the connection between the three of them. Fingers on buzzers, please. What connects these three clues? Yes, Rachel. They're all haircuts, hairdos. They are. Look at that. And the Rachel. That's nice. The Rachel, Beehive, and Bob. Well done. If you got that at home, here are your next three clues. What connects these three, please? Yes, Sean. Um, the way you can serve eggs. Are they the way you can serve eggs? Sunny side up, soft boiled and over easy. Ways of playing eggs. Well done. Very good. Here's your next one. What connects these three clues, please? Oh. Yes, Jan. No. Uh, uh, no, I've lost it. I thought I had it, but I've lost it. Okay. Anyone else? You can buzz in now. Jay. Are they um, all characters? I need a tiny one. bit more. Oh, no, sorry. They're all characters played by... Oh, God, blimey, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. I've got to know the geezer's name. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Whoa. Yes, hold on. Time. Yeah. One minute. One yeah, minute. One minute. <laughs> I've got to get this one point. I've got to get this yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah, this is hold important. on. It's, it's there, there. It's there. It's there. What's his name? Can no one remember his name? No. I've gone. I can see the guy. I, you're going to have to... But, no, time <laughs> Can you out. describe him to me? Yeah, he's um, <laughs> tall, he's tallish guy, brown hair. Um, I want to call him Tony Stark, but that's not his name. <laughs> that's all I know him as, Tony Stark. Hold on. Oh, wow. no. I'm no, gonna, I don't know. Buzz I'm me out. So Buzz sorry, out. I'm gonna have to time you out. Yeah, time. See if out. anyone else wants to come. I in. can't remember his name either. Let's fill in the rest of it. We listen. Scardy it, Chaplin, Sherlock Holmes, and Tony Stark. They were all played by it's Robert Downey Jr., isn't it? Oh, yeah. Robert, yes. it is Robert Downey Jr. roles. It is. <laughs> That's him. Oh, that was yeah. so close. I know. I nearly got a point. Yeah, there it is. Here are your next three clues. What connects them, please? Yes, Rachel. They're all nicknames for types of degree. They are. Well done. <laughs> Very well played, Rachel Paris. Do you get that one at home? Terrific answer. I got a, I got a Christian Bale. A fail. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next one. What connects these three clues, please? Yes, Sean. Ch uh, underground tube stations. Nope, incorrect. Oh. Anyone else want to buzz in? Jan? Oh. The tube, the tube lines. Underground tube lines, yeah. Lines. London, unlucky, just at Victoria and Waterloo City. Here's your next three clues. What connects these, please? That's an early Z. <laughs> Yes, Jan. They're all different kinds of curry. Are they all different kinds of curry? Ooh. Yeah, Jalfrezi, Vindaloo in the draft. Well played. <laughs> this is your last question. What connects the following three clues? <laughs> yes, Rachel. Characters in pantomimes. Let's take a look. What have we got? Yeah. Have an answer, yeah. Buffins and Dick Whittington. Well played, Rachel. Good end to the round. How did you do it at home? Get any of those quicker than our contestants here? Let's take a look at the score, shall we, at the end of round three, Jay? <laughs> 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 Is Sean still leading? 
Oh, he's tied now. Jay, well nice done. round number. Jan, you have five. Rachel and Sean, level as you like. Six points each. Whoa. Two rounds to go. What's round four going to be today? It is... <laughs> Where is oh, Kazakhstan? No. The this short is, round. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Yeah. Take out your tablets, please. We are going to show oh, you no. a map. Oh, no. And you're then going to have to find a few things on that this is gonna map. Be bad. No. Your map really today bad. is... A map of Asia. I'm going to give you three questions. I need you to find the place on the map that's the answer to these questions. Here's your first question. This is what we need. Can you find, please, the location of the 2018 Winter Olympics? What do you think at home? Do you know the answer? And do you know where that is? More to the point. <laughs> this is going to be Essentially, funny. this is asking about sport. Yeah. And geography. Two of your least and geography. Things. Yeah. The two classic things. Yeah, that I think I was sagging before. off that afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Jay, we will start with you. Did you have any idea what the actual answer was? To tell you the truth, I watched the Winter Olympics um, and I don't have an answer. I, I haven't got a clue. Can't remember where it was. No, I can't remember so where it was. What have you done? Gone in the middle? I've just like moved it over just a little bit. Okay, Gosh, lovely. There we go. Let's see where you are. Sort of right at the very bottom, the very, very hot bit of China. Rachel, did you know the answer here? Is it so socky? They definitely have said one. that, and I don't know where that is. Okay. <laughs> so I went with somewhere in China, I think. Okay. That's a bit further north. And that is still China. It's a much, much colder bit of China. Sean, I've, 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 I was so busy concentrating on thinking it was Seoul for some reason. Okay. That I didn't notice that I was essentially putting my cursor somewhere right on the equator. Right, somewhere I can't imagine that the Winter Olympics could ever be held because it would be too hot. Right. So I think I've definitely got it wrong. So you think Seoul? Oh, you man. are in Cambodia there. <laughs> oh, wow. It's terrible. Listen, maybe they did hold the Winter Olympics in Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> Jan, I'm going to go on record as saying this round is going very well so far. <laughs> uh, did you have any idea of the answer? Well, I had Seoul in my head as well. Uh, but embarrassingly, <laughs> no idea of where um, North Korea or South Korea is. Let's take a look where Jan is. Oh, it'd be cold, though. That's interesting. Mm. That so is it's just off the coast of Russia. You're both thinking Seoul. Yes. I don't know why. I think Sochi. Jay, not yeah. a clue, although you watched it. Yeah, I did watch it and I didn't listen. <laughs> somewhere cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somewhere cold. Definitely. Well, I'll tell you where it was, and you were not a million miles off the mark with Seoul. It's in Pyongyang, or Pyeongchang, they call it now. Oh, all right. Yeah. In Korea. Yeah. Let's take a look, shall we, at where it is. Yeah, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. You're so close. Yeah. The fact that you thought Sochi was there has really played into your hands. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Goes very, to show a terrible guess isn't always a well, bad thing. The interesting thing is that if you're wrong in two different ways, <laughs> sometimes you're right. That was great stuff from everybody. Next question. Looking for the following, please. We are looking for the what? deepest what? lake on Come Earth. On. The deepest? The, where is the deepest lake on Earth? OK, I'm just going to take a stab in the dark. I haven't got a Danny LaRue where this is. But no. You're, on. you're not on your own. There we go. There you go. Oh. So, Rachel, we will start with you. Do you have a Danny LaRue as to where the deepest leak I've got to say, I didn't was. have a Danny LaRue. Did you not? No. Not a single so, Danny LaRue. Um, I went... F I, I put it in a country that I think I know what it is. OK. Which is India, <laughs> I oh, think. Oh, so the deepest lake in the world you put in India? And yeah, that's my India. only reason for putting it there is I thought I'd like to say the name of, of somewhere yeah. I know where it is. To say that I've actually, yeah. yeah. I, know my, I know my geography, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Sean, what were you thinking? So I'll talk you through my method. Yes, please. I looked at the map. Yes. And I thought, hang on a minute, right in the corner on the left there, it looks like a large patch of inland sea stroke uh, lake. I'm going to put the cross over that. Right. OK. Say that's where it is. I mean, that would be a big lake. Jan, did you have a clue here? I just thought, well, um, the deepest lake might be where the highest mountains are, uh, oh. if, the, if the earth has gone sort of like that, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I sort of... I put my cross where I thought the Himalayas were. OK. But that's actually good logic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Good. That's yeah. the first, with respect yeah. to all of you, that's the first bit of good logic <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> Jay, what was your thinking? Uh, my thinking was just a stab in the dark. I don't great. have a clue. Not great at geography. Um, and I thought that little cluster 
just above where the Jans one is. Yeah. Um, I thought up there, there probably is a lake up there because I don't even know where that is. Where is Could that? Could be good. Is that like you're in you're in Kyrgyzstan? Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Oh, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, of yeah, course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> well, the deepest lake in the world. It's in Russia, Lake Baikal. Whoever's nearest is gonna get themselves a point. Let's take a look. Where is the deepest Good lake Jay. in the world? Yeah. It's there, and that is a point. Yeah. The Jay Blow! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Wow. All Can it I took go home there? was Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> yes. That's all it took. Here's the last thing we're looking for in this round. The capital of the country formerly known as Ceylon. Everybody is in. Sean, we will start with you. What was that country? Um, right, this is where my ultimate geographical um, ignorance is exposed, possibly, but I, th I thought it was Sri Lanka. OK, and where did you think Sri Lanka was? Just uh, off the bottom of India there. OK, so that's where Sean has gone. Yeah. Jam, what did you think the answer was? Well, I also uh, thought that it was uh, Sri Lanka. That's good uh, news, Sean. But I couldn't believe that that blob on the end of India was <laughs> Sri Lanka. Are they the Maldives or something, those ones down on the left? Oh, yeah. The yeah. Archipelago. I, I put it there. Maldives? Mm. Lovely. <laughs> Jay, what were you thinking? Um, yeah, well, I don't know much about geography. <laughs> you know me. Um, so I wasn't really But I thinking. know what I like. Yeah, I, I know what I like, so I've just gone, right, there you go. Just throwing a dart in there and set it's over there. That is Thailand. You're in. Okay. Oh. Rachel, what did you think the answer was? I had a really similar uh, line of thinking to Jay, which was, I haven't got a clue, I do not know the answer, so I'll go in the <laughs> region where I, for some reason, think it might be, which is not that far away from Jay. Let's see where <laughs> Rachel has gone. Uh, Vietnam. Right. Yeah. Vietnam, right. Vietnam yes. Thailand. So what you're saying is it's all to play for. <laughs> it is <laughs> all to play for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the following. The country formerly known as Salon was Sri Lanka. Ah. So essentially we're looking for where is Sri Lanka? Who has got the point? Sean yeah. Keeley, yeah. bang on it. Very well played. Very Thank good. Sean. Very good. Tablets away, please. That is the end of that round. We only have one round to go. Should we take a look at the scores yeah. as we go into our final round? Oh, it's Sean, it's Sean. Oh, come away. on again. Sean. I've got a point, haven't I? Yeah, yes. Look at that, Jay. Yes. <laughs> point for Jay. Beautiful to watch. Oh, lucky for, isn't it? Jan, you have five. We have joint leaders. One round to go. Joint leaders, Rachel and Sean. Seven points each. <laughs> this is like yesterday. It was so close yesterday going into the final round. And like yesterday, the final round will be... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Buzz in, give me a correct answer, you get a point. Buzz in, give me an incorrect answer, you will lose a point. Your first category is... Chinese food. The pictures will be Chinese food. There will be a clue underneath. Smash them together and see what you've got. I'm really bad with China. Good luck. <laughs> Here is your first one. Which actor plays the character Deadpool in a 2016 film and its 2018 sequel? Oh. Yes, Rachel. Ryan Renoodles. Oh, oh that's Ryan. good, though. That was good. Anyone else? No idea. I can't afford to lose a point as well. I've only got one. You've got to protect it. <laughs> yeah, I have to. Um, let's take a look what the answer was. Stir Fry Stir and Ryan oh, Reynolds. Stir fry. Oh. I'm not going to take. I will not take a point off Rachel though yeah. for for Ryan Renoodles. <laughs> it's a funnier answer. <laughs> uh, well done if you got that at home. Here's your next one. What's the food and what's the clue? Which 1956 Chuck Berry song features the name of a composer in the title? Yes, Sean. Spring roll over Beethoven. Is it spring roll over Beethoven? Hey. It is. Well done. Spring roll. Roll over Beethoven. Here is your next piece of Chinese food. Which character was played on television by Jay Silverheels and in a 2013 film by Johnny Depp? That's hard. That's hard. What is that? That's very hard. I got it. It's a fun one to say, I think. No. Nope. Shall I tell you? It's Wontonto. 
Uh, okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. nice. That is yeah. Would anyone else like to say one tonto? One, one tonto. tonto. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? One tonto. Yeah. Uh, one ton and tonto. Uh, <laughs> smash them together. Here is your next category. Brit Award winners. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. Smash them together. What name is given to the tasks endured by contestants on the TV show I'm a Celebrity in exchange for stars? Yes, Jan. Kate Bush took a trial. Yeah. It's the right answer. Oh, nice. Okay, well, it's the right answer. Here's your next one. Who is this and what's the answer to the clue? In 1994, David Dimbleby began hosting which topical debate programme? Yes, Sean. A tribe called Question Time. Wow. A tribe called Quest yeah. Question Time. <laughs> a tribe called Question Time. Yes. <laughs> Feels good. Uh, here's your next category. Found at a building site. Those will be the pictures. Smash them into the clues beneath. Which singer had UK top ten singles with the songs Private Emotion and She Bangs? Sean? Bricky Martin. Bricky Martin <laughs> is right. Brick and Ricky Martin. Too good. Here's your next one. <laughs> there will be no be no he's good at that last one. Oh, he's so good at that one. Yeah, I don't is. know where that comes from. I don't. It's the music ones, you so, always get. And do you know yeah. what, Sean? Yeah. You don't look like it brings you any pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like it's rest from you. <laughs> oh, here's another one I've got right. Yeah. Oh. I think you've hit on something it's like, deep there. It's like it's your curse. <laughs> You're like the Hulk or someone. Just thinks, Please, just let me be a normal man. Yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. It really, really does. Shall we take a look at the scores? Right. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. I wonder who's won today's show. Could it be All the Incredible right. Hulk himself there? Let's take a look at the scores. Our winner today is Sean Keaveney with Yay. nine points. Well done, Sean. I'm clapping myself. It's not on, isn't it? Jay with a lucky jumper, one point. I've got one point. You've got one. I've got one. Yeah, that's, that's all right, isn't it? That's yeah, OK. I'm happy. Sean, what prize are you going to take home? Oh, Let's God. Take a look. I do, well, you've, got, you've already got yourself a fondue set. You better not take that decanter. I think that's exactly <laughs> what I'm going to do. <gasps> that is a slap. No, I'm not going to do that. He's ruthless. Really? I am not that ruthless oh, because, what? I mean, obviously what I would have done... That's a good point. Silently, it, 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 I would have given it to Jan. Oh. oh. But lovely. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the gardening gloves. Oh, gardening gloves. Oh. That's a nice prize. Sean Keaveney wins a House of Games gardening gloves. Well done, sir. Thank you. Let's take a look, shall we, at the leaderboard after two days of competition. I think we were exactly the same yesterday, weren't we? Yeah. Look, Jay, two, Jan, four, Rachel, six, Sean, eight. But three more days to go. Plenty of points still to come. Uh, I will see all four of you, same time, same place tomorrow. We'll see you there as well on the House of Games. <laughs>